Hey everyone, it's Justin from Number Crunch Nerds, and in this video, we're going to be solving accounting problems using T accounts. This is a T account right here, and we're going to be using that information that we uh, gather from the T account to calculate the company's net income for the year. So let's just jump right in. It says, consider the following information for Marvin Company for 2022. We have $300,000 of product sales. We have $80,000 of selling expenses. It says the company's prepaid insurance account had balances of $42,500 and $57,700 at January 1 and December 31, respectively. And it also says the company's annual insurance prepayment is $30,000. Based solely on this information, what is the company's net income for 2022? All right, well, Step one, the first step in solving any accounting problem is to organize the information that you are given. Don't just try to start like solving it in your head off this information right here. You want to organize it. That's the first thing. And when you are given information that involves account balances, which we are right here, we've given account balances, then the first thing you want to think about is T accounts. You want to go straight to a T account because a T account is how you can organize the information you're given. So let's just do it. It says the company's prepaid insurance account had balances of 42.5 at January 1. Okay, so that means beginning of the year, right? So we're going to go to our prepaid insurance account. Prepaid insurance is an asset. Okay, therefore I would expect that uh, the beginning balance will be a debit. The normal balance of any asset is a debit. I would expect the ending balance to be a debit. The normal balance of any asset is a debit. All right, so beginning balance 42,500. I'm gonna to go to my account, I'm gonna put 42,500 right there. It says the ending balance at December 31 was 57,7. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna throw 57,7 right into the ending balance. All right, so now I have two pieces of information. I have my prepaid insurance balance at the beginning and at the ending, excuse me, at the end of the year. Okay, now it also says the company's annual insurance prepayment was $30,000. So how does the prepaid insurance account work? Well, you, you prepay for insurance up front and then you start to use up the balance later. Okay, you're like you're like prepaying for an insurance policy, and then as time goes by, you will actually get the insurance coverage that you have prepaid for, and you will you will use up the prepayment. Okay, that's how it works. So, based on that, how does the um, prepaid insurance account increase? Well, it increases when you make a prepayment, right? Like you you actually pay the insur the insurance company cash and then you put up an asset called prepaid insurance on your books so an increase here would be thirty thousand dollars right it says right here the, the insurance prepayment was thirty thousand dollars the company's annual insurance prepayment that means every year they prepay thirty thousand dollars right so the in prepaid insurance account is going to go up for the year of thirty thousand so we have the beginning we have the increase we have the decrease what are we missing well, we're missing this number right here. We're missing the decrease, okay? We're missing the decrease. So what do we do when we have one, two, three of the four pieces of information necessary to solve any T account problem? Well, we go straight to the T account formula, which is beginning balance plus increases minus decreases equals ending balance. So we have beginning balance. That's the 42.5. We have increases. That's 30. We have the uh, we don't have decreases. That's what we're. That's our variable. That's the unknown. That's what we're solving for. We do have ending balance. That's the fifty-seven seven. Okay. So when you plug these three numbers into the fund, into the uh, T account formula, you get the forty-two five plus thirty thousand minus X, which is our unknown, equals fifty-seven seven. And when you solve for X, you will get fourteen thousand eight hundred. Okay. So the company incurred 14,800 of insurance expense in 2022. And as they incur the expense, what happens? The prepaid insurance account decreases. 
It's an asset account. Assets decrease with the credit. Assets increase with the debit. Assets decrease with the credit. All right, so now we know this number. Now, step number two, okay? Using the information you found in step one. By the way, before we go to step two, always remember to check your work, okay? Check your work and you can, how do you do that? Run the T account formula again using the number you found. So beginning balance 42.5 plus increases 30 minus decreases of 14.8. When you sum those up, you should get the same answer as you had right here in the problem. And when you do, you can feel confident that you crunched these numbers correctly and you got the right answer right here. Okay, now let's go to step two. Using the information you found in step one, plus the information that's still up there uh, in the problem, which we haven't used yet, calculate the company's net income. And what is the formula for net income? Well, at the most basic level, the calculation of net income is as follows revenue minus expense okay very simple revenue minus expense so we're going to do the net income calculation let's go see what else what else we have up here we have 30,000 30, of th excuse me 300,000 of product sales plus 80,000 of selling expenses okay well, the information in 3 and 4 we've already used all that so what's left is these two so revenue minus expenses so i got revenue 30 uh, 300,000 I got expense, 80,000. So let's go down here to our net income calculation. I'm going to put revenue in there, 300,000. I'm going to put my selling expenses in there of 80,000. Is that all I need? That's the question. That's the big question. Is that all I need? And I know you know the answer is not. It's not all we need. We need something else. But what is it? What do we need? Well, we need to make sure we understand what is happening here? What is this entry right here? What is this entry right here? That's when the prepaid insurance account went up. What was that? That was debit asset, debit prepaid expense for 30,000. And what's the credit? Cash, you paid the cash. So the cash went down and the asset called prepaid expense went up. So that's prepaid expense, asset, cash, asset. Any uh, income statement accounts in there? Nope. No income statement accounts on the initial prepayment. What about this? What about this right here, this, four, this 14,800? What's the journal entry when the prepaid insurance account goes down? Well, it's credit prepaid insurance, we know that, right? Here's the credit right here. Credit the account prepaid insurance. What's the debit? The debit is an expense, right? It's an expense, what, and what's that called? Insurance expense, right? In this case, it's insurance expense because we're talking about insurance, okay? But more importantly, it's an expense. And what's an expense? It's an income statement account. So we know that there's something else here, and that's going to be insurance expense of 14800 because we know that for this to decrease, we have to have a charge to the income statement, an expense hitting the income statement. When you see this, you know an expense is hitting the income statement, okay? Revenue minus expense, that's the whole point of this problem of making you calculate this is because there's a number in here that you need, and it's this number. And you need to recognize that a decrease in the prepaid insurance account means a debit to insurance expense, expense which is an income statement account. So we have the 300,000 of revenue, we have the selling expenses of 80, we have the insurance expense of 14.8 and when you subtract out the expenses from the revenue you will get net income of 205,200 which is the solution to this question